Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify complex rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. So complex rational expressions really aren't that complex. It's a little different than we're used to seeing. So let's see an example here. Okay, and you can see why they call this complex. We have y plus 1 over x, okay, not too bad to simplify. But now we're dividing that by x over y. And so we have basically two sets of division here. Now there's many different ways to go about it, and I'm going to show you my personal favorite way to do this. And that is, can you guess it? Smash that like button. Helps us make more videos for viewers like you. All right. What I like to do is rewrite this. And this is my fair way visually to see this. We have y plus 1 over x. And that divided by sign, I can write as such, divided by x over y. And so now we have it written like this. Right? A little easier to see. And the reason why I do that is because I like to convert these to multiplication. I find it so much easier, right? And we've done that before. So let's do another step here. We have y plus 1 over x. And all we do is flip the x and y to have it be multiplied by y over x. And I find this an easier problem to see and simplify. Okay? So there's other methods out there. But this is the method I think helps the most, makes it easier. So let's go continue that right here, okay? And so what we can do, well, what I'm going to do first is, um, is well, there's two options. I could combine this to be one big fraction, and then we can multiply, or I can start distributing right away. I'm going to make this one into a, a one big fraction first. I'm going to combine that. It makes it a little easier, I think. So that y plus 1 over x, I can rewrite that to be y times, and remember that's y over 1, put that note there, I'm going to times that by really just x over x. And what I'm trying to do is have a common denominator here, so I can combine this, these two parts, and we multiply, we have y over x right there. Going sideways, keep transitioning here. Now we can sim uh, simplify this part here, multiply y and x, so we have y x over x plus 1 over x times y over x. Okay? Now we can, we see we have a common denominator, so now we can add them together. So let's do that right here. And we have y x plus 1 over x plus 1. Oh, sorry, wherever. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I already combined it. That's what I get. You gotta pay attention. Come on, Sean. So notice I have y plus x plus 1 here, and we have the same denominator, so we just can combine that. And that's being multiplied by y over x. Okay? And so now we can really, hypothetically, we can combine this together. Now, there's two ways to go about it. You can think about distributing the y to both parts. But personally, I like that it's already kind of factored out. So I'm going to write it as such. I'll put the y out front first. y times yx plus 1. The denominator is being multiplied, now be careful, right, we have multiplication going on here, so it's x times x is x squared, and now we've got our final answer. We can rewrite yx to be xy if we want, but we simplified this to be y times yx plus 1 over x squared. And so now we know how to simplify complex rational expressions. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. This helps us make more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.